welcome to another episode of the Real Rap Podcast. I'm JP. This is my co-host, Avi. Welcome, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we're on episode 11. Love Thank it. you guys for joining us for the 11th consecutive week. Uh, it's been cool. And uh, here's some more to come. Yeah, it's been quite the journey so far. We're like two months into doing this, and it's just been crazy yeah. with the growth and support we've gotten. And we appreciate it so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's great. So, yeah, with that said, let's not waste any time. Not too much entertainment news this week. So this Yeah, a little yeah. low on the side this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's been pretty quiet. So, um, let's... Uh, There's one big one, though. No, about no. To dive in. It's Okay, let me specify. It's yeah. been very quiet in the movie and TV side. But yes. But on one industry, which we're going to kick things off with, it's been very, very loud. And that's the GTA Thanks. 6 trailer that got released on Monday. Finally, so, yes. So, let's tell the story before we get to the trailer. So... For mo- for years, this game has been leaked. The gameplay was leaked last year. Um. Then they announced that there is a trailer coming this year. Yep. And then, that also got leaked. <laughs> yeah. Um. But also before that, uh, so, you know, there was some gameplay that got leaked too. So there's been a lot of leaks. Yeah. Uh, with Rockstar. So, Rockstar was like, you know, they saw the trailer got leaked, and then they're like. No more. No more. Like we're just gonna release. It. We were gonna. They were gonna release the trailer Tuesday at nine a.m. Eastern time. Yeah. They. That's what they said. They were like nine a.m. Eastern time Tuesday. We're gonna do it. But then they leaked it, and they were like, you know what? Let's just release it now. The if, yeah. if you guys want to watch a trailer, watch the real one on our YouTube. That's pretty much what their Twitter what said. What's going to be? Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what their Twitter said. Not exactly, but almost similar to. They're like the you know the the uh leaked ones out there, uh so watch the real one on YouTube and at the moment the last I checked it's around ninety six million views as of recording today wow. it's a Wednesday I was reading somewhere that within like the first two hours it got like twenty million within two hours yeah it's yeah. it's insane dude I was probably one of those I was yeah like, oh, same <laughs> I I saw it when it was in the thousands and in I'm like thousands. oh I couldn't uh, I was uh I was waiting for. To pick up a uh, dinner order, um, we ordered pizza. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and I just see on my phone, GTA 6 trailer, and I'm like, what? I just thought that was supposed to come out tomorrow. I, I know, yeah, I was surprised mm-hmm. too when I saw it. I was like, yeah, I thought this wasn't supposed to be released yet, but yeah. I figured with all the leaks, they just wanted to beat them to the punch and finally yeah. release their product, you know? But so. no, even the leakers beat them there on the trailer. Too. Yeah, they did, yeah. Uh, with a project like this, it's going to be so hard to not leak it because, man... Like, there's just so much stuff. There's, yeah. you know, like, there's just so much. A lot. There's so much hype. That's what I meant to say. There's so much hype for this game. This is probably the most anticipated video game in history. Oh, yeah, definitely. It I mean, has to be. We've been waiting for this for, like, so long. Yeah. Like, I mean, because with the other ones, they weren't too far apart, you know, with. No. I think with Vice City and, like, San Andreas, that was, like, what, two Two, three years apart. Yeah. And then with San Andreas and GTA five, that was like it was four or five years? Four or five this years. This is a yeah. decade. Yeah, this is like a decade. Well, we yeah. we said in the past podcast, uh, that you were in your junior year of high school when it came out. I was a seventh grader when it came out. Yeah. Like, that's just to put it in perspective, that's you know, twenty thirteen. We both graduated from college already. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's it's something. It's it's insane, man. And what's crazy is does it come out to twenty twenty five? Twenty twenty five, yeah. That means GTA five will have been up for, you know, twelve, 12 years. years. When, and it would have been the definitive like, you know, like you know, the main GTA that they're focused on for twelve consecutive years, years. which is crazy. It is. It's Nuts. Insane. You know? Yeah. And don't get me wrong, it's a great game though. But like man, Oh yeah. It's I know that's a long time to wait for a sequel it's a to a long game. Yeah. Time. And at this point too, like so many people like a couple of years ago, like a year or two ago, people were saying like, yeah, man, I don't think we'll ever get to see GTA because with yeah. all the leaks and stuff, like uh-huh. people were like, oh, Rockstar is just going to keep on delaying. Yeah, and delaying. That's why I thought it was going to be longer than 2025. But they said 2025. I'm like, okay, that's perfect. Because you know what? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, as much as I would love it to be in 2024, you know, 2025, I, with all the leaks that happened and everything, I thought they would, it would have been 2026. Yeah. Maybe 2027 at that oh, point. Oh, wow. That'd yeah, be I, crazy. Yeah, because, you know, they were, like, saying, like, oh, we got to rework on a lot of stuff and everything because it's all got leaked. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like it took too long um, unless they were being rushed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nothing, it looks but, like yeah. it, it worked out for them in yeah. the end. I mean, yeah, we obviously had to wait, like, such a long time yeah. for it. But at least it's on its way. 
That's oh, for yeah. sure. It's on its way. It's on its way. We got the official trailer, and uh, what you uh, so what? What were your thoughts on the uh, on the trailer so far? Short and sweet. It sure. gave us so you know, uh, we don't really know much about the story, but from what the little teases we got of the story, it seems very Bonnie and Clyde ish. Maybe it, I did get that vibe. Yeah, because they're yeah. robbing banks, and then actually this is the first ever time that they're using a female protagonist yes. in the game. He plays a girl. Yeah. And I when in the trailer I saw it, she's like like back and forth, I guess they show her like in prison. Yeah. And then they show her she's like robbing a bank with I'm assuming her boyfriend. So yeah, yeah. I, I definitely could get the Bonnie and Clyde vibes yeah. for sure. I don't know I don't know the name of the guy, I forgot, but I know the she's a Latina. Latina. Let's go. Latina okay, nice. named uh, Lu- Lucia. Lucia. Uh so um but and she's, you know, with her boyfriend presumably mm-hmm. um and they're both probably banks like we said you know like you said yeah the bonnie it and is very banks. very bonnie and cladish and i'm very excited and we're back in vice city most of all yes you know? After yeah. all these years we're back in vice city Vice City is one of my yeah. favorite G- gta games mm-hmm. i mean that's kind of the one that i grew up with with because i was like when vice city came out that came out in like the fall of 02 yeah so i was like six seven years old and that was uh that was such a great game and I loved it too because I'm very nostalgic. Yeah. So it took place like in the eighties and it kinda of reminded uh, me a little bit like of Scarface, the Scarface yeah. vibe a little bit. So. I just hope in this game not that I hate the GTA five, I really like GTA five, but mm-hmm. I just hope, like, you know, Lucia and whoever the other guy's name is, like, uh, they're both likable. Mm-hmm. Like, I know they're supposed to be criminals and everything, but, you know. Like the anti-hero, like, yeah, oh, yeah I feel you. you know, they're supposed to, like, but, you know, like, in other games, like, you know, in, like, uh, GTA 4, like, even though that person's kind of garbage, like, you know, there's still something kind of, like, you know, it makes you, like, kind of, like, no, I don't want to say likable. It's not the right word, but, you know. I, like, you know, in GTA 5, I feel like, Almost all of those characters are so hateable. In GTA. Like, yeah, they're, like, they're supposed to be, like, people that are criminals and you don't really like them. Yeah, I mean, or, you know what I mean? Like, you're not supposed to be good people, but, like, they're not even, like, you know, like... They're just, yeah, it's crazy characters. Yeah, I think, I mean, they're I think... crazy. They're just not, like, people, like, uh, if something bad happens to them and everything, we're, you're like, okay. Yeah, I think out of all of them, like, the one that came across the least... I mean, like, the most, like, normal. I mean, they're all bad, obviously. They're yeah. bad people. But the one that came the most the most normal out of all of them was Franklin. Yeah. I feel like Trevor... I like Franklin, actually. That's yeah. Why. Trevor, yeah. Trevor was just... He was insane. Yeah. He was just crazy. Trevor was just too insane. He was too insane. Was I used to like him as a character, but, like, you Trevor. know... Yeah. And... It, but the thing is, like, it seemed like all like a lot of that... You know, Michael was so unlike... Super unlikable. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, he was a dad. And yeah. he had like, his kids. His yeah. kids. Oh, my God. His kids were super unlikable. Too. I know. His son was annoying. And remember that mission where you had to, like, uh, ride him on a bike? You had to, like, yeah, race him to the thing. Yeah, on the bike. Yeah. I think people know what I'm talking about, though. Like, you know, like, you want to be, like, more invested in a character, like, where you have to, like like playing as them mm-hmm. and, yeah absolutely you know, yeah because like i didn't like playing as like michael i was fine playing as like trevor or um franklin franklin but like me i didn't like playing as trevor at first like i didn't it yeah, just his thought... character was just like too i mean eventually you know you yeah. have to because it's part of the game so you, yeah. you know, split between that's it, but, fair yeah but trevor he was just too much for me but yeah. i mean yeah mm-hmm. i mean i, I kind of get that and then with this kind of different take that they're taking because all the past games you're playing at male characters yeah. all so it's yeah good to see i mean them trying to switch it up you yeah. know modern times and you know, we'll see how it turns out and uh i'm interested I'm yeah really definitely interested. i'm definitely yeah. interested you know they're taking a cool new twist mm-hmm. to it and yeah it's yeah. it's pretty cool and it's a very popular you know game series too i mean a lot of people have been playing a lot of people have grown up with it i mean the first gta came yeah. out in 97 mm-hmm. so i mean each is getting passed on to those yeah. generations basically like I've, i i played the 97 one the 97 I, yeah i've only played i won't lie i've only played four gta games so four gta games. i played the first one i haven't played three but i played four i played san andreas which who hasn't and i don't oh, five actually um four san andreas the first one uh, GTA Five and Vice City stories. Vice City stories. So you yeah. never played the original Vice City? No, I never played the original. Oh, that's Vice a good. City, that's but a good. I do want to pick it up and play it. Yeah, it's not the definitive fun. edition one though. The definitive edition is awful. Awful. <laughs> yeah, the, the OG, the real. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have the like OG San Andreas, so you know, like see. it's the one that everyone likes, not the garbage one that just even though it has better graphics, like it's unplayable. Yeah. Yeah, no, but no. um, you know, it looks. I like you know, it shows. I think this trailer was mostly, 
you know, like the story thing's going to be later. This one's mostly set used to, you know, establish tone mm -hmm. and, you know, the vibe of Vice City, which is heavily based on Miami. And, yes. You know, yep. I've been to Miami a bunch of times and they really captured it. <laughs> well, Miami's they, like, they like, you know, GTA sure. is supposed to be a satire of America. You know, mm -hmm. like the American culture, especially in Las Vegas, I don't know, Las Vegas, uh, Los Angeles and Miami, which is, um, you know, where uh, the games are set, but, you know, under different names. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's supposed to be a satire. And um, weirdly enough, that satire is pretty accurate. It <laughs> is. It nice, comes across. Yeah. yeah it's point. Yeah. Like, you know, like in past games, like you could tell, like it's over, you know, like it's like intentionally over, you know, <laughs> what's the right word? Oh, not overreacting. Um, but over exaggerating. Over exaggerating. Yeah. Over exaggerating. Uh, you know the the cities and everything. Mm -hmm. But with all the crazy things we've seen from Florida, man, like oh this god, is, <laughs> yeah. literally Florida, man. <laughs> what am I saying? Like it's uh like it it looks more like a documentary. <laughs> In a way, yeah. <laughs> because it looks exactly how Florida is. Like you know all this crazy stuff and everything. Like people like. Oh, man. just like the people just, you see walking on the streets yeah. in the game, and yeah, because you could interact crocodiles. With them. Yeah, uh, like it look, it just looks like Florida. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, like they actually like, had that too in the trailer for the new one. You saw it, the guy who yeah. was like catching a crocodile. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah and yeah, the ones going to the convenience store too. Like, yeah, yeah, when they go it, to the convenience store. Yeah. yeah, like I said, it's supposed to be a satire, but that trailer made it feel like a documentary because <laughs> you know it's yeah. just <laughs> it looks too accurate. Yeah, it really does. But I really like the trailer. I like the use of the Tom Petty song as well. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Long love is a long road, which perfectly captures captures how long we've been waiting for this damn game, bro. Yes, <laughs> the essence. Yes, GTA. Because yeah. man, I don't think I've been waiting for a sequel this long. Like you know, yeah, for anything. Because like it's not like I had to wait for the Star Wars sequels. I was only four when four. Uh, Star Wars Episode Three came out. Or you know, all oh yeah, stuff. yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, was like it? yeah, yeah. And I bear like I didn't even really start watching Star Wars till like I was seven, six, seven, seven somewhere. Whenever the Clone Wars came out. Before that, actually, I mean, they, yeah, I think uh, well, before yeah. yeah. So it would have been I would have started watching like around two thousand six, two thousand seven. I want to say that's when I first saw the first. That's when I saw the first trilogy. So I I haven't really need to like really waited that you know this long for a sequel. Sequel, yeah. I can't think of anything else. Like there's nothing else. I don't think. Yeah, me neither, man. I mean, maybe yeah. Avengers Secret Wars at this point with how Secret delayed Wars. it keeps. Oh going. yeah, with delayed and issues. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I can't think of any other thing. I mean, again, kind of feed, feeding back on what you just said. For me, it was like in a way, like with certain movies, like with like I don't know, like with those twenty year gaps, I guess. But then again, yeah. when they came out, I was a really really little kid, so yeah. it's not like I was awaiting that and they yeah. wouldn't see those movies till like later on you know yeah yeah and um yeah no i'm i'm excited this is looking cool yeah um long anticipated and 2025 just you know i was talking about this with a couple of friends 2024 has some stuff i'm excited for but 2025 is on a whole different level for me they're doing a it's, lot yeah they're know? making a new shrek movie yeah and i know you're a big shrek yeah. fan yeah yeah um, so there's that there's you know superman legacy in the and oh, yeah, pretty much the beginning that. Yep. of the DC universe. There's GTA Six, Fantastic Four, Blade. Um, there's just a lot I'm looking forward to in 2025. A lot of content is dropping. I kind of want to skip next year. Oh, I don't want to miss a life. I mean, life a uh, year, but like you're just waiting. Know, you're like, waiting for all that stuff to come out in 2025. Because 2024, like you know, there's not that much I'm excited for in 2024 besides Dune, Deadpool three, mm -hmm. um, Echo. Uh, Marvel Zombies if it comes out, but who knows? Um, did I say Dune already? I did. Say yeah, Dune. yeah. Uh, and uh, Lord of the Rings and it's what. Oh, Lord of the Rings and yeah. yeah. Maybe some music stuff next year. Um, I'll probably be excited for, but you know, just those don't usually get announced till like a couple of weeks. A couple weeks, yeah, later. It's yeah. different than music, but um, I don't think twenty twenty five just hits different for me. There's a, there's a lot more coming out in yeah. twenty twenty five. It sounds like yeah, yeah. Captain America four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
even though it, which I heard. I think yeah. Seth Rollins is actually going to be. He is. In the, he's, he's, yeah, you heard. Yeah, you heard about it. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be in. He that. missed two weeks of WWE mm-hmm. programming for it. Oh really? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Nice. Um, but yeah, GTA Six coming twenty twenty five. Rockstar Games don't disappoint. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, just please, please don't milk this game as much as you did GTA Five. That's all. I, that's all. I hate. <laughs> just. Yeah, because oh. I I still yeah. very well remember when GTA Five came out, how crazy it was, yeah. and. Just how insane and just popular it was. Like everyone, yeah. it was just like the must thing to own, like the must play game, and it was just crazy. And luck, luckily for me, I, I didn't buy the game till years later. But yeah. luckily, a friend of mine had bought it, so I got to play it. You know, within a few weeks yeah. after its release, because it came out. I remember the exact date. It came out September seventeenth, twenty thirteen. Yeah. So yeah, I remember just everyone going crazy mm-hmm. for it, and it was just like. The yeah. hottest new game, you know. Mm. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize I was slouching for a sec. Man. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting comfy like this, you know, like sitting back, relaxed. I got, yeah. I got a little bit too relaxed there. I was What's just wrong like, with that, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, GTA Six. So I mean, that looks like two. Besides for all the movies yeah. and other things coming out, I mean, I feel like that's going to be one of the biggest highlights of that year yeah and one of the things to remember by because if you look back at 2013 one of the biggest games of course was gta 5 so the biggest yeah. thing was i believe it's like the of any medium it was the most sold you know thing uh, it's the most sold video game of all time i believe yeah gta 5 yeah, yeah. it is it's not even because they had it and they had it back then because we didn't have the ps4 because the ps4 yeah. came out a year later no yeah two months later two months later yeah PS4? Yeah, it actually came out. The biggest things that year were that, the PS4 and the Xbox One. PS1? Yeah. I think I know the Xbox. Yeah, Xbox they both. Yeah, both of them came out two months later, but uh, the game didn't come out till I want to say, a couple months on After, console. Yeah, because yeah. you had to, yeah. Yeah, so... Mostly people had got it, because I played it, yeah. GTA Five. I played that on the PS3. And also, I yeah. forgot much, and this game is confirmed PS5 and Xbox Series X and S only. So, yeah, so it'd only yeah, be for but, five. And... Which is weird because then they're not gonna. PC should have that too. Yeah, because I know sense. people. PC has been, at least for what I know of it, PC yeah. for the past couple of years have been. A lot of people have been transferring over. Yeah, to I don't know PC. why they're not doing. Maybe they're like, oh, well, they're gonna buy it twice or something. I don't know, but that's stupid. That's not on PC. I'm not. Not that I'd be infected. I'm play on PC and PS5, but, mm-hmm. like, you know, I feel bad for people who are only PC. Yeah, who just use PC, yeah. Because then they're going to have a PS5, I have to buy a PS5 or Xbox Series X and S just to play this game, and God knows when the, P- the PC version comes out. Oh, it comes out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. But, yeah, um, GTA 5, or 6, six. coming 2025. 2025. Let's, yeah, so... Next up, some from we were going from some happy news to some sad news actually. Uh, Norman Lear dies at uh, 101 years old, which is quite a very a long, long life. life. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, best known for developing and writing some like very iconic TV shows in American history. He's like, yeah, he uh wrote and developed the Jeffersons and All in the Family. Mm-hmm. Um, so very iconic, you know, these are shows that have change the landscape of american television for oh yeah absolutely you know for the time period and the future like, yeah i mean it also to open up the door for like these kind of family sitcoms yes. in a way because when you look at sitcoms i think in the 50s and 60s a lot of it is very wholesome and family yeah and then when you think of like all in the family it's kind of like different because you know you have like archie bunker he's yes. you know you know he's Slight, he's a racist, kind of, you know, slightly racist, <laughs> yeah. and and just all these characters, and then mm-hmm. again, too, you open the door with the Jeffersons too, because I feel like the Jeffersons came out in seventy four, so that was really one of the first yeah. major black sitcoms too that we had. It ever tackled gotten. a lot, you know, like his shows tackled a lot of uh, because they're like you know, um, political topics, yeah. race. You know, all this stuff that, you know, sitcoms at the time weren't talking about. Oh, they weren't even touching. Yeah, they, not, didn't, they didn't even want to touch, want to touch it. Because, yeah, you know, they touch these They're worried about, like, advertisers at the time and all this stuff, yeah. you know, the general public. Um, which, yeah, it wasn't that long ago, you know? Like, it was 50 years ago that was, like, you know, that stuff was still... These subjects were really, really touching. Just, like, off limits, you know, for off limits on television. Yeah. And now a lot of and them are very it. normal in TV. Yeah. You, know, like you see a lot of them are very normal, yeah. Yeah, you barely see a sitcom where they don't touch upon it and everything, you know? Yeah. Like, 
Um, but like those two are the, the it might not seem as influential now, mm -hmm. um, but like, you know, at the time, uh, with all in the family and the Jeffersons, it was very, very influential. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, um, yeah, for a hundred and one years he you know, Long he life. really set the standard for um American T V sitcoms. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. And um yeah, it's you know. Um to live a hundred and one years though, that's another accomplishment too, it you is. know. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> outside of making uh, you know, revolutionary T V shows, like, you know, living to triple digits is, you know, quite a feat. Some some special for yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you know, because you can have as much money as you want, but you know, Time, time, time doesn't care about money, and yeah. um, you know this man was able to keep himself living that long and everything. Like shout out to him, money might help a little bit, but man, you know, like just that to long, see him, yeah. yeah, he served in wars too and everything. Like you know, um, he he's done a lot in a hundred and one years. Like it yeah. is crazy, but yeah, this is uh you know a legend has passed away. Um, as a recording today, so. Um, you know, rest in peace to Norman and um, condolences to his family as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sad. So that was just some sad news for today. But you know, like I said, man left a great legacy. You know, revolutionized a lot for TV, and you know, just he made his impact. Yeah, made know? his impact, kind of paved the way too yeah. for other people for future writers of shows. Because he might be. He might no longer be with us, but man, he people will still be talking about him in the shows for oh, yeah. years and His years legacy and years to come. Last a lifetime, yeah, he yeah created, absolutely. He created quite a legacy, which is great, you know. His he he might be gone, but you know his legacy will not die. Yeah, of course. So yeah, rest in peace, Norman Lear. Um, but with that said, on to the next news. Uh, a little bit more positive now, but uh, a twenty four movies are gonna start extremely. Streaming exclusively on uh, HBO and Max. Nice, interesting. Uh, so that's cool. Um, they had a deal with Showtime for the longest time. Yeah, it looks like they lost it. I don't know what's going on with Showtime. I think they're just gonna kill it off. Or because something. yeah, because I know on Paramount Plus they basically have like just about all the A twenty four movies yes. on there. Because I'm yeah. when I'm scrolling down, I see them. And then before that, they also had a deal with prime prime video because yeah they would stream uh they would stream their movies too like a couple mm -hmm. of months after they were released they would stream them i think i know right now they just added everything everywhere all at once that's on prime yeah, video so i believe but, so yeah. yeah yeah um but yeah no that's, that's cool movies. though yeah yeah so it's you know like how deal they had deals with like universal and 20th century fox also like you know like back then for all the streaming wars half happened yeah yet, where you know, like one place would have like HBO would always get you know premieres for they'd be the first ones to air those you know movies that come out uh from those companies like four months later and everything. Yes. So now, yeah. And now you know since Universal's movies are on Peacock and Disney or Twentieth Century Fox are at, um, what's it called <laughs> Disney Plus? I don't know why I forgot the name. Um, Hulu. 20th Century Fox. Oh yeah, it's yeah. between Hulu and, and Disney. Disney Plus. It's, yeah. It depends on the movie. If it's like Avatar, it's going to both. Or one of them. Or if it's like a haunting yeah. in Venice, it'll be on Hulu. It'll be on Hulu. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's um it's pretty cool news. Yeah. Uh A twenty four movies, uh like Priscilla and Iron Claw will be on Max and HBO. Nice. So yeah, if you guys are interested in watching those movies, um and you haven't been able to watch them in theaters or you wanna rewatch them, that's where they're gonna be. Yeah, I definitely wanna see Priscilla. I never got a chance Same. to see it in the theater, so yeah. Hopefully soon. I can check it out on Max. Because, yeah, I mean, I feel like A24 movies, they've been just about on every streamer, except yeah. for, obviously, Disney+. Plus. But yeah. I because there's, on Netflix, they have Uncut Gems. They brought yeah. it back. That's A24. And then I know that they have, like I said a minute ago, they have everything everywhere all at once on Prime. And then they have Hereditary yeah. on uh, Max. And then they have, like, basically all the HBO, I mean, all the A24 movies on Paramount+. Plus. So they're kind of, like, all of this, but at least it's getting like an official home though now. Yeah, so. official Good. home. So that's yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Nice. I do want to watch the Iron Claw, which comes out in a couple weeks. Yes, I feel like you'll definitely like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause um, it's about the Von Erich's tragic yeah. story. That crazy, um, yeah, crazy yeah. story. Yeah, because it's a you know it's based on real life and it's not spoilers. Like you know, um, yeah, the, a lot of that family is dead. Right yeah, now. like um, you know, it was just like a, it was a uh, Fritz Von Erich, and you know, there's guys like Carrie and um. There's yeah, there's a and Kevin, uh, Kevin Von Erich's like the only surviving brother. I believe there was five brothers, 
four or five brothers, something like that. And, um, yeah, all of them died because of sad circumstances. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very tragic story. A yeah. lot of them, they're all in the WWE Hall of Fame. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it's a very, very tragic story. And, and I saw the trailer. It looks very intense. And you got a really great cast, too. Mm, yeah, that. you got yeah. Zac Efron. Mm. I think, let me check who he's playing. I'm pretty sure he's playing, uh, Kevin Von Erich. Kevin, but, um, Kevin Von Erich. yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was there was this show called Dark Side of the Ring that yeah um, yeah on Vice yeah yeah on Vice that uh you know they um did a documentary about uh the Von Erichs Devon and Erich. everything and yeah it was just tragic stuff you know um yeah so you know you got Zac Efron playing uh, Kevin Von Erich you got Jeremy Allen White playing Kerry Von Erich um Harris Dixon playing uh David Von Erich Stanley Sim uh Simon's playing Mike Von Erich there's um and then MJF uh, the AEW world oh, champion. He's, gonna be in he's there. playing uh, Lance Von Eric. Oh wow! Um, so yeah, there was four brothers. Um, I was just yeah, I don't know why I was thinking five. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Um, and then uh, you got you're gonna have people who are playing um Ric Flair. Uh, he's not gonna be in the movie, but like his, he's gonna be he like, he himself will not be in the movie. But someone's playing, playing, playing him, portraying him. Yeah, and Harley Race will be uh portrayed by uh Kevin Anton. Uh, Rick Flair's being portrayed by Aaron Dean Eisenberg. Never heard of him, but, you know, that's cool. Um, Michael Hayes being played by Brady Pierce. Bruiser Brody being played by Cassie Lewis. I don't know how to say his last name. Craig. I don't know how to say his last name. No disrespect. And, um, yeah, a bunch of WWE Hall of Famers. Uh, G Gino Hernandez is being played by uh, Ryan Nemeth, who is the uh, brother of Dolph Ziggler. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah. And uh, AEW wrestler, for those who know. Dolph Ziggler's on AEW, sorry? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Oh, Just not his yet. brother. Just his brother. Uh, I okay. think he'll be in AEW. He'll be in AEW at some point. Since he's not in WWE anymore. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, Edward the Sheik, uh, Farad, which um, he's the uh, uncle of Sabu. Um, he's being portrayed by Chavo Guerrero. Oh, wow. Chavo yeah. Guerrero's going to be in there. So okay. this, yeah. And then you got uh, Lily James in the movie, too. Yes, yep. Sorry, man. Um, it's a cool cast, you know? You got some wrestlers in there. Um, like three of them, you know, like it's the biggest one, of course, uh, you know, MJF, MJF, yeah, it's <laughs> it, yeah. crazy that, you know, that that's probably why they still have the world title on him too, because man, you know, so yeah, yeah you gotta have your, you gotta have, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. But yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, it looks like an interesting story too. Yeah. I mean, with the Von Eriks too, it's like I said, it's a tragically insane story, but it yeah. looks like a well-developed film. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, usually with the wrestling films, they really capture like the essence of yeah. it and the, these performers. I mean, if you look at The Wrestler, which is a fantastic movie, I know oh, you one of them. so depressing, though. It is, it is very depressing, yeah. yeah. I mean, even though it's based on a fictional character, mm. but still, this is, like, what happens. Like, sometimes yeah. you could be, like, at the top of the ladder, you know, the number one wrestler in the world, and then you could just kind of, like, slowly the fade away. Is, yeah, The Wrestler's a sad one. Sorry it is, it is. Though. It's But it's oh, so well done, though. I mean, yeah. they, and they have a couple of wrestlers. They don't have anybody, like, they don't have, like, real, because these are all kind mm. of, uh, they're fake, like, they're not real wrestlers. Um, yeah. Like, not real wrestling characters, what I mean. Uh, mm. But I know R-Truth, he had, like, a cameo in there and uh, yeah. a couple of wrestlers. I know there was a, I could name some, too. Um, But, yeah, the wrestler, uh, there was a lot of wrestlers at the time who really liked the movie and everything, but also they're like, yeah, no, nah, that's definitely not wrestling, you know, not what wrestling's sure. like, yeah. I remember There's... they did a story with Chris Jericho and Mickey Rourke. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, they did look I remember WrestleMania 25. Yeah, they did a story with that, yeah. Yeah. You know, like uh, Mick Foley gave a lot of you know praise about it. Yeah, Mick Foley, Foley, he really liked it. Yeah, um, Bret Bret Hart loved it too, but you know he just thought it was like a dark misinterpretation of the yeah. business. Um, Roddy Piper really liked it. Um, and yeah, to be honest, so there's one person right now that is really, really about to be Randy the Ram, one one person, and that's uh Nature Boy Ric Flair, Ric who's, Flair. This old man is taking bumps at like seventy five. He really, really wants to die in the ring. It looks like, and I, that's kind of yeah, sad. Yeah, dude for... is sad, man. Wow. I saw his last match last year. Oh yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah it, it was one of the worst matches I've ever seen. You told me. Yeah, this, I remember that. This because Ric Flair is an idiot, and he he's like what seventy four, right? Yeah, Jeez. he passed out during the match because he's an idiot, and yeah, no, terrible match, terrible, oh, terrible match. Yeah, crazy. so. Um, yeah, a bunch of them, like, uh, Claudio Casagnoli, who's, uh, Cesaro in WWE. Um, a lot of people, if you follow, uh, AEW, Jay Lethal, um, R-Truth, Ron Killings, um, 
Robbie E. If you follow WB, he's uh, what's his face? Um, ah, uh, Mr. Stone, Robert Stone, um, Austin Aries, uh, Chuck Taylor, Nigel McGinnis, uh, Drew Gulak. Lots of yeah, lots of <laughs> lots of wrestlers in this movie. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot, a lot of uh, guys, and the blue meaning from ECW. Yeah, yeah. but so I had a good, you know, a lot of cameos here for a pro wrestling movie. Yeah, uh, I got carried away for a second the wrestler, but but you know it's yeah. a classic though the wrestler. I mean, yeah. for and it's a movie too that like you don't have to be into wrestling to yeah. like enjoy the film. And mm-hmm. I feel like the same way too with uh the Iron Claw. Yeah, like I feel like because it's just like there's a story. Obviously, yeah. it's it's a dark and depressing sure. story, but there's just like stories. And even when we watch like the episodes that they show, like the Dark Side of the Ring too, they're like interesting stories. You don't have yeah. to be I'm not uh, focus on yeah. the ring though. Like, yeah, you know, what happens in the ring? Unless like yeah. you know, it's the brawl for all episode. But yeah, um, you know, it's focused more on the drama, the stories. Of the yeah, because there's a lot of like, if you think about it, like, uh, there's a lot of like craziness that happens behind the scenes. And if you look at it, like, you just see, basically, you see all the glamour and the nice stuff. Yeah, and then there's a lot of crazy drama like outside the scenes. And there was a really good one that they did. Uh, it's crazy and it's very sad, but they did one. Did you see the one on Owen Hart? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was intense. That was like a two parter, I think. Yeah, that was a yeah. two parter one. Yeah, that one is crazy because they had Benoit too. Yeah, the I haven't seen the Benoit one because I feel like that one would be really like yeah because that's a like a that's a yeah story. that's a very intense uh, yeah. issue but uh, story but the mm-hmm. Owen Hart one was crazy though because the incident that happened with him was that was at a pay per view yeah and they still continued the pay per view yeah. after which was horrible oh uh, yeah. yeah that was like really bad yeah you could see if you it's uh over the edge nineteen ninety eight if you guys are 99. 99. 99. 99 yes 99. I'm sorry ninety nine. Yeah. Did he, um, do they even have that on Peacock? They do. But they have the paper. Yeah, they just cut out the own hard part, though. Oh. So, wait, so you could watch, you could still stream the the whole pay per view? Yeah. Minus own heart. Because I know, I don't think they have any, I don't think they have any of it on DVD. No. that, That I know of, yeah. And, like, it's very hard to find anything of it on YouTube, basically. Um, you might find little clips of it, but it's... You don't find any clip. There's, like, no one. Nothing about Over the Edge 99. There's some commentary where you can hear him, like, Falling down the background, yeah, but you don't, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, what happened for those who aren't in the know, Owen Hart was a, uh, you know, wrestler who, um, he was playing a superhero character at the time. He was uh, blue zip blazer, line, yeah, the blue blazer. He was zip lining um from the top of the building to the bottom, but something happened where the uh, zip line broke and he fell in the ring and he didn't die in the ring, but he he uh died to the hospital. Yeah, and he was getting treatment. Yeah, tragic story. Um, but it was a really big fall yeah. too, because he was like all the way up down there. In the yeah, ring. I believe he was like the second match on the show, and yeah, they um, they still continued the pay per view, which is not a you know Vince McMahon not a best decision. Yeah, but, it's, uh, it's not good at all. Yeah. Right? Um. Yeah. No, it's a sad story. Uh, yeah. but yeah, no. Um, that's why his wife doesn't have him in the Hall of Fame right then because he, you know. Yeah, I know because there was an so. issue with them like. She sued him, and then he tried to counter sue. Yeah, and yeah, it was just. But it was... uh, in recent times, she's been, you know, like for the longest time, she was not, you know, she didn't want anything to do with wrestling or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, she didn't want them to honor her husband because that would be being the biggest game in town. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I know you know in recent times, uh, she's been back with wrestling, like you know. She's been uh teaming with AEW to honor o- Owen Hart's legacy with a yearly tournament. Okay. Um, nice. since it's been happening, this been um happened this year and last year, um, so yeah, it's because of you know she's had, even though like you know she was pretty much out, you know out of wrestling like she mm-hmm. saw his friends like Chris Jericho who yeah it it was like people like um Jericho who convinced her hey you know people really want to like you know honor uh Owen's legacy yeah maybe you could team with AEW you know because they're a big company that's not WWE mm-hmm. that you know. Where it'd be, it'd be cool to you know, yeah, have him you know be honored and yeah, she she's like hell hell yeah we'll do it and um yeah he's in the video game and everything but yeah oh he's in the AEW video game yeah oh so he could play us yeah you could play us oh, oh I didn't game. know that wow it's yeah crazy. but yeah that's enough wrestling talk this has been <laughs> this is not an episode of real rap wrestling yeah, we've yeah. done in a while but, yeah, you know, yeah but hey why not um but yeah because. We're gonna. There's not really much news, so why not? Um, we're just gonna go through the last two new pieces of news pretty fast, anyways, because there's not much. There's not much to talk about them. Uh, yeah. And the next 
piece of news. Squid Game the Challenge has been renewed for a second season by Netflix. Nice. Haven't watched it. I haven't watched it either. I mean, I because sometimes when I'm scrolling through it, like I'll watch like the little trailer that they have of it. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I mean it looks like it's popular. I mean, fans of the Squid Game series. I'm more into the series mm-hmm. um, because it's basically like a competition reality yeah. show. Um, I mean. But yeah, I mean, people who like it, I mean, hey, I mean, I guess it has an audience, you know, and yeah. Um, yeah. People were saying that, like, you know, it really doesn't get the game. Doesn't get the game. But it's still fun to watch. Still fun to watch. Yeah, they did the reality sh- show parts of it right. Parts of it. Um, so. Because they get money, because they get paid. Yeah, yeah it's past, basically like the show. They get paid. They have the big piggy bank. Yeah. So good for them. them. Yeah. But I know there are people suing because of oh, really? getting hurt and everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this is an interesting one. Um, so yeah, there is some controversy with the show, but yeah, wow, yeah. So I guess that's it for uh, that. Um, and then the next piece of news: uh, last week tonight with John Oliver has been renewed for three more seasons. Three by more HBO. seasons of John Oliver. Yeah, yeah. I like his show. Yeah, no, he does a great job. Yeah. Um, he just takes these topics and like tackles them and hits them hard and yeah. kind of going back to wrestling a little bit, but he did a great one too on WWE. Have yeah. you seen that? Yeah. He did a great one too on WWE. So but I yeah, think he, it could have been better actually. What the one they did. Yeah. WWE. I didn't think he, like he did an okay job, but like, you know, there were some things where I'm just like, you know, he could do a lot better. <laughs> yeah. a lot better. But he tackles, uh, he definitely tackles his topics very well. And he adds his humor and satire to it too, which makes him like a great uh, host. Yeah. For sure. But I do enjoy the show. Three more seasons. I'm down with that. Um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been one of uh, HBO's like you know, pop most popular shows. Um, on there definitely beats out. Uh, seems like it beats out. Uh, what's his one? The one with Bill Maurer. The, oh, yeah. real, is it real, real time, time with, with Bill Maurer? Yeah. Maurer? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's like those two shows that you're like very popular. Uh, you know, political commentary shows. So yeah, um, good for John Oliver. Good for John Oliver fans. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. basically won the Emmy for that show for yeah. like four years in a row. He won Emmys. Yeah, for no, that, it's so. well done. Yeah. Super well done. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, he's learned a lot from uh, guys like uh, not Colbert, uh, John Stewart. John Stewart, yeah, because he used to be a correspondent on the day on the yeah. Daily Show, right? Yeah, Daily Show. Yeah, he used to be uh, associated with the Daily Show and Comedy Central and all that. I feel like they started this whole. You know, they were a big part of um. What, some of the shows that HBO does now. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, they still have the final host for the Daily Show. I know. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. They're doing uh, their guest hosts. It's been a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, yeah. Because Trevor Noah left last December. Yeah, yeah. So, it's been a year. Because they started doing it in January. So, yeah. You're right. It's going to be a year. Yeah. And in a way, like at first, I actually kind of liked it, though, that they were having guest hosts because you would get different comedians yeah. kind of giving their perspective. So, I kind of liked it. But now, this, since they're kind of like running out of people to host, now they're kind of like, recycling some of the like yeah. people are coming back I like, like sarah silverman sarah something. silverman did it twice leslie jones yeah and then they did charlemagne he was because i was looking through the yeah. channels and i watched some charlemagne of it is he was... such a weird one though which one that's when i knew they were running out of hosts when they added charlemagne of all people oh charlemagne the guy <laughs> come <Yeah>. on man <laughs> he used to have a show too on comedy central i think I he used to think have uh, he yeah. Him, yeah 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 um but yeah that's really it for entertainment news this week yeah kind of light kind of light yeah. yeah so what's coming out this week not much. Not much. Another, yeah, yeah. light too. Light too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's go through it. On Disney Plus on Friday, Diary of Wimpy Kid Christmas Cabin Fever is coming out. Nice. Okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch the other two. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen... They're I... not my Roderick, not my Greg Heffley, not my etc. Are you not a fan of the Diary of Wimpy Kid? No, it's, no. Uh, it's just because... uh. I don't know if you remember 2017, there was that whole Not My Roderick thing. Oh, <laughs> Because okay. uh, they changed the whole entire yeah. cast. Yeah, they changed, yeah. yeah. But and I it... did grow up on those movies. I did, uh, I watched uh, Diary of Wimpy Kid 1 and Roderick Rules in theaters. I didn't see 3 till it came on HBO. Yeah, I I really, I actually really enjoyed the first two, yeah. Um, yeah. The first Diary of Wimpy Kid and then Roderick Rules. They were, they were actually pretty funny movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I, um, yeah, they did. Uh, adaption of these those three in the last draw, not the last draw, the long haul. Long um, haul. but they never did one on cabin fever. I I forgot when I stopped reading Diary of Wimpy Kid books. I think it was around seven or eight. Seven That's what I. That was my last. Well, yeah, last one. One of those was my last one. Um, but I love those books as a kid. Oh yeah, they're I classics. Was, yeah. yeah, 
the class. Really, really enjoyed those books. Like, oh man, I I would read that every day. <laughs> I would reread them. I would even get the movie diary one. Like, you know, I was a big Derek Wimpy fan. Nice. Um, but you know, yeah. Um, this is cool for a new generation of uh people. Like, yeah. Other thing, you know, like they're making it animated too, so yeah. it looks like he actually looks like the character from the yeah. book. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Nice. And uh, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Derek from what we did there. You know, I don't, I didn't watch the other two, so not the new rebooted. Uh, the, the ones on Disney. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've only seen the original ones, which are you know still have a special place in my heart. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. You know, like the exploded diaper song with the mom dancing in the background. Oh yeah, like, legendary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exploding diaper, like oh man. Exploded diaper of the band. Uh, yeah, Roger Stan. But yeah, and then, um. Yeah, that's one of two things. The second thing is one I'm actually really, really excited for. I've been looking forward to this movie. Uh, this is from Searchlight Pictures, also so another Disney movie, technically. Uh, Poor Things has Emma Stone, Willem Dafoe, um, and many more. I forgot the rest of the cast. Gerard but, Carmichael. Yeah. Oh, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, yep, yeah. Yep, he's in there. Yep. Like, dude, I am so, I've seen the trailers and everything. Like, I am very, very, very excited for this film. Dude. Yeah, it looks very cool I've and been, trippy, yeah. Yeah, and um, I just wanted to double check, but it's been getting, yeah. It's good 93 reviews. 93% percent round tomato. Like, people are loving this movie, so. Nice. Um, Definitely looks like an Oscar contender for sure, too. Yeah, it's got uh, Rami Youssef as well. Um, Christopher Abbott. Um... Margaret Co- uh, Qualley, um, yeah, and I don't, know, I don't know the rest, but um, nice looks like a this nice is, solid uh, cast. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. Where have I seen it before? Um, oh yeah, this is uh Christopher Abbott's the guy that's gonna play the Rhino and Craven. The Raven. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. That's why I was like, hmm, where have I seen him before? But yeah, yeah, Gerard Carmichael is in there too. Um, Catherine Hunter. Um, very good cast. Very, very good cast. Uh, it looks really, like you said, it looks really trippy. Yeah, it looks trippy. Yeah, the trailer. Yeah, it looks super weird. But that's why I am weird and quirky. For. Yeah, I saw the trailer when I saw a haunting of Venus. I'm like, oh, me. oh, you saw it. You were yeah. like immediately. Me and Bran, um, who's been on the show before, check out our review of the creator. Um, he was like, yeah, I'm down to watch this. So let's read the let's read the plot since we got a couple minutes to you know spare. So. Um, the premise, a young woman, Bella, is brought back to life by her guardian, the scientist, uh, Dr. Godwin Baxter, who is being played by, uh, Willem Dafoe. Uh, Emma is, Emma Stone is being, I mean, Emma Stone is playing Bella. Mm -hmm. Um, initially naive, Bella is eager to learn about the world around her, uh, Abbott under Baxter's protection. Wanting to see more, she runs off with Duncan Wedderburn. A slick and debauched uh lawyer and travels around travels across continents free from the prejudices of her times. Bella demands equality and liberation. Um and uh Duncan uh Wonderburn is being played by Mark Ruffalo. Nice. Um so yeah, that's uh that's a movie I'm really excited for. Like I said, those trailers look really trippy and cool. I, I look forward to it. I'm gonna watch in theaters and all the camera moves. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the camera moved a little. Um, I don't know why, but uh, yeah. No, that's one I'm looking forward to and everything. You nice. know, you know. I just remembered. There's a movie that's coming out. I think in select theaters and Netflix. I think it's this Friday. It's um, uh, leave the world behind. Yeah, I remember. That? Yeah, yeah. It was in select theaters a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I think it's coming out on Netflix this week. Though. This Friday, I think. Yeah, yeah, that looks really good. That's with uh Sam Esmeo. Yeah, who created Mr. Robot. Uh, mm. great show. And yeah, yeah you got a great cast too. You got Ethan Hawke, Julia Roberts, Mahershala mm. Ali. So that's one. That's one I'm definitely looking forward to check out. Soon, yeah. So. But yeah, no, that's the, I'll be definitely checking that out. Um, I just gotta renew my A list because I had to cancel for a little, bit. For a little bit. Um, because I wasn't using it for a little bit, but now I'm gonna be back on the grind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really it for movie stuff. Yeah, yeah, kind of a little, little that, light, light this week. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's anything else. Um, because you know, like the big news was just GTA. GTA Six. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that kind of dominated for all the it entertainment just, news and yeah, yeah, nothing's beat out GTA Six. You know, um, there's a the Game Awards is tomorrow, but you know that's tomorrow. Um. Taylor Swift got named time for some of the year, but we don't really talk about <laughs> uh, artists that are, or music that much here on the podcast. Um, yeah, nothing really else. 
Um, so yeah, I guess we could just end it there. <laughs> yeah, so 44 minutes looks like that's where we're at. Um, yeah. Keeping it short and simple, short and sweet today. Yeah. But yeah, maybe next week we'll have, you know, decently, you know, more news and everything to talk about. But yeah, thank you guys for uh, watching our podcast today. Be sure to check out this man over here. He uh, did some reviews on the Hunger Games and the Killers. So yes. be sure to check those out. I'll link those two um, after the video. Um, and yeah, he's got more reviews to come. I got more reviews to, um, on coming up as well. And uh, check out our live stream. So we did our first live stream on Monday. And I think I'll probably be doing a live stream after this video releases. So be sure to check that out um, if you were watching this first before the live stream. Um, but yeah, um, we'll see. Not guaranteed I'll do a live stream tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, with that said, though, thank you guys for watching episode 11 of the Real Rap Podcast. This has been JP. This has been Javier. And we'll see you guys next time. Next week. No one ever cared what you said, but to say that means Never listening to what mom say Always had a dream on ruin at my mom place Always hesitate when it came to putting on the wrong face When it came to putting it on face When it came to building up a better being But a better, better being Never been in the back of your thoughts Never ever thought you'd ever see him But I bet that you were heated But you're still in the back of your thoughts Nightmares and dreams in the back of your thoughts Life with a meaning